The content on this channel is intended for adult collectors only and not for kids. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new Christmas sweater. Well, it's not really new. I got it from Target a few years ago, but it's definitely one of my favorite sweaters. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at probably one of my favorite dinosaur models that I've ever seen so far. It's huge and it's Nick the Ceratosaurus from PNSO's prehistoric animal models that accompany your growth line. I received this model from PNSO so a big thank you for PNSO for sending this guy over for us to take a look at because I think you're really gonna dig it because I dig it. Ceratosaurus, meaning horned lizard, was a carnivorous theropod dinosaur living in the late Jurassic period in parts of Africa, Europe, and North America. It was a medium-sized theropod growing to approximately 25 feet in length. And unlike most carnivores, it had a row of bony armor along its back called osteoderms. It was known for its large teeth and prominent nasal horn-like structure on its snout, which was at first thought to be used as a weapon, but paleontologists Paleontologists now speculate it may have been used for attracting mates or recognizing other members of its own species. And interestingly, it is possible that the Ceratosaurus had some semi-aquatic habits, as the animal's teeth are sometimes found near lungfish skeletons. So here is our very big box of Nick the Ceratosaurus here on the front in this pretty Kenyan-esque landscape. Same image on the back and on the side we have some information. It's made out of PVC and we also see that it comes with a display stand. I'm either gonna like that or not like that. So let's go ahead and slide, slide that packaging right off. Ooh, like butter. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Slide it off. So opening up the package, inside we have a booklet. Ooh, scratch that, a folded pamphlet. So there's a really nice little excerpt in here appealing to children as though the Ceratosaurus is alive and you know, wants to be your friend and listen to you. I think that's super cute, but sorry kids, I want this more than you. We have our stand up here and this, <laughs> This is our big boy. He, he is a big boy. So as always, let's start off with some measurements. Nick is approximately 23 inches long and 13 inches high. Here he is next to a coffee cup, a pen, and an apple. Right off the bat, you can see that the image on the front and even, you know, the product images that they have online do differ greatly from the actual figure. We are missing, you know, some pops of that darky kind of purple color and orange and just in general, a more saturated color scheme. But I really can't believe that this is PVC. It looks just like such a high end figure. And I think that PNSO has really perfected their art of making these affordable PVC figures really almost rival some of the more higher end dinosaur models out there. So Ceratosaurus was known for those um, large sharp teeth. And here we have some individually sculpted and painted teeth with this nice gradient effect from brown to white. And these are all flexible. Um, so they won't chip and break if this guy accidentally falls over or you hit him the wrong way. And look at those cheek flaps here. Look how far these fleshy muscles, you know, stem from the hinge, showing just how powerful these jaws really are. Very nice detailing and texturing on those. And they are actually a bit glossy too. Here is our glossy tongue and inside it's also glossy in here, giving it that wet look. And the tongue does have some detail on it as well. It's curled up a tad to show that the dino is actually, you know, kind of roaring or vocalizing. I also feel um, though that the lower jaw may be a bit too long, but that may just be the pose that it's in. Up here, we have our nice big nostril slits and our three horn-like structures, our prominent one just above the nose and one horny structure above each eye. Now, some people actually believed that these structures may have been covered in blood vessels, allowing them to change color to communicate with other Ceratosaurus. Kind of, you know, like a, a mood ring, or maybe even communicate with other large predators as a sort of warning symbol to stay away. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these eyes do not look painted. 
To me, they look like they're printed. I think I see, you know, little pixel printing dots from the printer. I believe they opted to glue this eye image in here to get the most minute little details in an incredibly small space. Wherever you focus your eye, there is not just one pattern of texturing. There's, you know, there's these crisscross scales here, there's dimples um, that are protruding, there's these individually sculpted scales, armored scales, and uh, this impressive mosaic of scales going along the entire length of the back. And it's all complemented by this very realistic looking color scheme with this creamy yellowish brown green base with gray dry brushing and this red definition in areas. And of course those spats of black that we see all over. But these black, almost stripey like patterns are really, really pleasing because they are not just solid black blotches. They actually look like they were applied very, very delicately because their edges and some of their ends are soft and almost kind of fade out in areas. The only unfortunate thing is that in some of the more protruding scales, some of the paint has actually been rubbed off during transport in its box. And also on top of that, you know, with that great paint job, we have some very realistic draping, it looks like on this guy, like the raised thigh here, pulling the tail skin and the wrinkling around the underbelly and around the neck. And here is a closer look at those spinal osteoderms, you know, those bony armored scales and plates, which was very unique to this carnivore, um, running basically from the nasal horn all the way to the tip of the tail, not losing any semblance of detail the further you go along, which is great. As with the teeth, the arms and claws have some flexibility to them. Beautiful scale and claw sculpting on here with those four claws. Love the feet on this guy. Um, just looks like giant bird feet, like, you know, an ostrich or something. And you can really see those bird-like features in here with those three giant toes on the front and that little squirt here on the back. And I noticed that there are some areas with kind of sporadic paint blotches. And on the bottom, we have PNSO on one foot. And on the other, we have Made in the PRC 2016. And that's People's Republic of China. And here is the underside where you can see some of the different scale patterns below. Um, we have our giant pubic bone with some red definition on either side and what looks like uh, maybe like a possible cloaca slit here. Essentially where the dinosaur does all its business in and out of. Um, maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me with the scale pattern but it kind of does look like a slit there. On the bottom area here when I first saw it I was like Wait, is this not painted? It kind of bothered me, but because it is essentially unpainted here, you can see this shining glossy effect when the light hits it, which I actually do really like, and I don't mind um, that they didn't put, you know, a kind of a matte white coat of paint under here, so it's not a huge deal. But the thing that does kind of suck is that because this tail tip here is made of a more flexible PVC than the entire body, um, and it is made as a separate piece, it's most likely painted separately and um, we don't have that um, continuity of the shiny bottom here. Here it's essentially matte white and it doesn't match up too well. So my least favorite thing about this figure is obviously the base. I just really wish that they would have made some sort of kind of heavy rocky texture base that would have allowed for the dinosaur to clip in with pegs instead of having to use these clear junky plasticky stands and this very underwhelming base. The base they opted for really kept the price point down and it did allow for the dinosaur to be in this awesome kind of mid stride dancing bird like pose. Um, but if you're gonna have you know, this all-star piece, I don't think they should have chintzed out on the base. To think that this is PVC is really impressive, you know, from the sculpt work, the paint work, the attentions to detail. But the only downside of PVC figures really is, you know, seams. These guys are usually made up of a few different pieces and glued together, like here on the knee and on the end of the tail. Um, the arms and the base of the head. Virtually all of these um, are undetectable, except for this one here maybe on the leg. And I think I would have liked to see a little bit of that original advertised color scheme in here with some purple and pops of orange and blue because I'm a sucker for color. But apart from those things, I'm actually really, really impressed with this figure, hands down. And here are a few other models to give you a sense of size and kind of to compare between a few other models. Um, this 
This is PNSO's Spinosaurus. This is PNSO's Wilson the T-Rex. And this is the W Dragon Spinosaurus. I think you know that these lightweight PVC models are very reasonably priced. I mean, Nick the Ceratosaurus, I believe on PNSO's Amazon.com store is actually $69 US. And I of course will leave links down below to PNSO's Amazon store as well as their official website if you do wanna check out this guy and any other figures that they have on their site. So in the comments down below, I'd love to know what you think of Nick the Ceratosaurus. You know, what do you like about him? What do you not like about him? And do you have a favorite dinosaur in the PNSO line? You know, is it some of their older figures? Is it some of the newer figures? And what do you hope that they make next? I really hope in the future that they make a Dilophosaurus because that's definitely one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. And I always look forward to seeing how different companies and artists kind of interpret that frill and the detail on there. So I think that'd be a really fun figure to see coming from PNSO. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help spread the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.